Perfect. Matthew, here we are. We're at the end of the session, and it's been a great session. I mean, um, we've gone from discussing what a rib is with a rigid hull and the inflatable sides, and, and you've shown us how you build one up from the fabric and then mm -hmm. the unfinished tubes, the finished tubes, how you put the hulls together. It's been really, really informative. And I think a lot of our viewers will now understand a lot more about ribs than they did before. Are there any final comments you want to share before we close out the show? Well, it's been great having you here and, and being able to share with all of you, you know, a little bit about what we do here at Ribcraft and a little bit more about ribs in general. Mm -hmm. um, you know, ribs really open up a load of possibility while you're out on, on, on the water, you know, being able to go out and enjoy your time. Um, they're extremely popular in the UK when people over in, in Europe, for that matter, not just the UK, but when people think of buying an open runabout boat, yep. they don't think of Grady White, they don't think of Boston Whaler, they think of buying a rib. Hmm. Um, and there are many rib manufacturers out there, we're just one of them. Yep. Um, we're one of about five here in the United States that build them from the scratch here. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of us out here, so you know, we hope you, you know, consider looking at ribs the next time you're looking at boats. Um, military, Coast Guard, law enforcement have been doing that for quite some time. That's right. what we build our boats for. But more and more recreational boaters are coming to us for their boating needs. Great. Well, thank you for joining me today. Thank you. Thanks for coming.